Hey, this is going to be the first lesson. Uh, today we're going to uh, cover the piano. I'm going to cover this pretty quick because you can uh, watch it as many times as needed and pause as you, as you need to go. Um, basically, let's talk about the layout of the piano. The piano is set up with groups of two, groups of three black notes, groups of two black notes, groups of three black notes, two, three, all the way up and down. Uh, if you look to the left of your two black notes, you're going to have C. If you look to the right of your two black notes, you're going to have E. If you look to the left of your three black notes, you're going to have F. The right to your three black notes, you're going to have B. So you got a C, E to the right, E to the left, F, and then B. Uh, and you can fill in the rest. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Um, the black notes right now, uh, they have different names for them depending on what key you're playing in. But we're just going to use common language until we get to that point to where we're talking about the, the proper names for them. Uh, C sharp. So we're going to call them C sharp, E flat, F sharp, A flat, and B flat. That's what we're going to use for right now. Um, uh, the the uh, major scale is basically broke down in what you call a series of half steps and whole steps. Uh, a half step is defined as anytime you go from one note and you play the very next note. For example, from C up a half step would be to C sharp. Uh, from F sharp down a half step, you can go up or down, would be F. Uh, a half step up from A flat would be A. Um, half step up from D, E flat. Half play up from E, we F. You don't skip a note, you play the very next note and that's a half step. A whole step is when you skip a note. For example, you go from C and instead of going a half step, you pass over that and you play the next note. That's D. So that's a whole step from C to D. A whole step from here up will be from you skip the, the note here and you go here. So that's a whole step. Um, a whole step from A flat down, you go A flat and you skip a note and you go boom. So that's your whole step there. So a half step is from, from here to here, anywhere on the keyboard, any kind of thing like that, or going down, going down, or, and a whole step is when you skip a note, or you can go up or down with it. So play around with the piano and find out, you know, look at all the different half steps and whole steps that you have. Um, the major scale is broken down off the series of whole steps and half steps I talked about earlier, and it goes, if you, and you want to remember this, write it down, uh, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And those are talking about half steps and whole steps. So to play the C major scale, you're going to start on C, and then you're going to say whole, whole, half. You're going to go a half step, which is F. And you're going to go whole, 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 and then another half step. So, now, to play these, you want to play uh, what, what, what I call tetra chords. Tetra means four. You want to use, omit your thumbs, you don't want to play with your thumbs, and you want to use your four fingers. So your pinky on that, on that one, your ring finger, and so forth. So play, your, play all of your scales just like this. Play them nice and slow. And while you're playing them, say the name. C, D, E, L, G, A, B, C. C, B, A, G, L, C, E, D, C. You want to you wanna get real familiar with your note names and with your scales. Once again, I start on C and I start on my note. And then I, then I do my whole, whole half, whole, whole, whole half. So whole step, whole step. Half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Now, in the key of C, all of your notes are white notes, so it doesn't come to play in the key of C. But if you go to another key, for example, C sharp, it's going to be different. That going to be, it's going to have black notes included. So you start on C sharp, and you say the same thing: whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. It's a little funky the way you got to do it, but you want, you want when you play these tetra chords, you want to keep your hands on the notes like I'm doing and play your skill just like that
So like I said, call out the notes, C sharp, E flat, F, F sharp, A flat, B flat, C. You can do all your skills like that, E flat. And then I start on E flat and I say hold, hold, half, hold, 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 half. And you want to do all of your keys. Start on here and go up in half steps. Start on C. I'm going fast, I know. And then go up to C sharp. the whole whole half steps go to D whole whole half whole 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 half E flat and just do all your keys and learn So that, that'll give you all your major skills. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Uh, learn all your notes, names, and learn all your major skills going uh, all through all the keys. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. I know I went pretty fast, but you can stop it and fast forward and, and look at it as, you, as needed. Okay.